Interventional radiology, being an emerging branch, has resulted in image-guided procedures being a crucial part of the life of a radiologist. I, Dr. Anubha Jain, JR2 of Department of Radio Diagnosis, Bharti Vidya Peet Sangli, is here to present a paper on the topic Comparative Study of Role of Ultrasound-Guided Wall Biopsy and Aspiration in the Diagnosis of Various Necrotic Hepatic Lesions. Liver, as we all know, is a vital organ of the body and subjected to numerous infection and neoplastic pathologies as it lies at the distal end of the portal circulation. In this study, we are concerned with hepatic lesions which have a central necrotic core and surrounding fibrocollagenous capsule. In such lesions, wall usually contains the active pathology whereas the core contains the necrotic coagulated component. These lesions can have varied underlying pathologies such as infection, like abscesses, sclerosing hemangioma, malignancy. Challenges during diagnosis. Hepatic abscess, as we all know, are infectious space occupying lesions in the liver. The two most common abscesses being pyogenic and amoebic. The accurate diagnosis of hepatic abscess and its differentiation from malignant hepatic tumor is sometimes difficult because a variety of malignant hepatic tumors mimic abscess radiologically, showing arterial rim enhancement. These include intrahepatic cholangiocarcinoma, serous hepatocellular carcinoma, and other hepatic mix. As a result, the accurate diagnosis of hepatic abscess and its differentiation from malignant mimickers is challenging, particularly in the absence of a typical clinical symptom. Similarly, tuberculosis being a very important part of our country, hepatic TB accounts for 1.2% of all cases of tuberculosis. Isolated tubercular abscess is a rare entity but often present with a suspicion of pyogenic or amoebic abscess. Because of these non-specific radiological and clinical features, histopathological studies are required for definitive diagnosis. So, histopathological study can either be performed as cytology study for a, of the aspirated sample or as wall biopsy. Clinicians usually advise us image-guided aspiration from these lesions to detect the underlying etiology. However, the central core of the lesions from where the aspirate is taken usually contains a necrotic tissue and coagulated components. Hence, most of the cytology report turns out to be non-specific. The present study is designed to compare the efficacy and the usefulness of the USD guided wall biopsy in cases of diagnosis of cause of various hepat necrotic hepatic lesions. Our study includes 27 cases with radiologically proven necrotic hepatic lesions who came to our department. Patients with low platelet counts and deranged clotting factors or gross ascites or any active skin infections at the site of the procedure were excluded from the study. A real-time imaging was done under USG guidance. After taking informed consent, ensuring asepsis, anesthesia was given and during the biopsy, a long needle was introduced into the skin, subcutaneous tissue, intercostal muscles, peritoneum and finally into the liver lesion. 18 got God's cutting needle is then fired under the ultrasound guidance, ensuring that the tip of the needle is in situ. Specimen was then sent in formalin for histopathological evaluation. For needle aspiration, ultrasound guidance, long needle is inserted into the abscess, fluid is aspirated through the syringe and sent for culture. Post-procedure, we managed the patient for 6 hours. Coming to the results and discussion, distribution of patients according to their gender and age, Majority of these patients with the hepatic lesions were elderly male of age more than 60 years, followed by age group of 51 to 60 years. Clinical manifestations, abdominal pain was the most common complaint with these patients, followed by fever. USG-guided FNSC was able to diagnose the cause of necrotic hepatic lesions in only 29.7% of our subjects, leaving behind a large number of 70% cases as non-specific. Of these, most common cause was identified as amoebiasis followed by pyogenic abscess. Distribution of patient according to the cause of lesions identified by ultrasound-guided wall biopsy. So, wall biopsy was proved to be more efficient in detecting the cause of necrotic hepatic lesions in our study as it was capable of diagnosing lesions 
such as tuberculosis, abscesses, malignant lesions, and left only about a small number of 18.5% as non-specific. This is a comparative graph showing tubercular abscess and malignancy could only be diagnosed by wall biopsy and was completely, uh, FNSC completely failed to diagnose these lesions. Amoebic abscess and pyogenic abscesses were also diagnosed on a large number more than the that was diagnosed on by FNSC. So this is a case of a malignant necrotic hepatic lesion which turned out to be a poorly differentiated adenocarcinoma. FNSC completely failed in diagnosing malignant lesion as the active dividing cells are found in the wall of these necrotic lesions and the code just contains the necrotic coagulated component. Similarly, tubercular abscess was diagnosed by wall biopsy. Two patients who previously had no history of pulmonary TB and any other form of tuberculosis turned out to be tubercular abscess detected by wall biopsy. This shows that the image-guided necrotic hepatic lesions, wall biopsy, although a bit meticulous procedure, is a well-established technique for definitive diagnosis of these lesions. Better results can be obtained in patients with these lesions when biopsy is done before the start of the antibiotic treatment. It can be used to guide sampling of these lesions. The use of ultrasound guidance reduces complication rates with blind procedures. Patients with abnormal coagulation indices benefit from these image-guided procedures too. Concluding my study, we conclude that the ultrasound-guided wall biopsy have an upper hand in giving most precise diagnosis of the etiology of the necrotic hepatic lesions than FNSC. These procedures being ultrasound-guided are radiation-free, provides real-time imaging which makes it more user-friendly and more precise than blind procedures. We recommend ultrasound-guided FNSC should always be accompanied by wall biopsy to prevent missing out on tuberculosis, malignancy, and other accurate diagnosis. References. Thank you.